I got interested in computer science when I was a high school student. Uh, I took a, a class on computer programming and I really enjoyed the fact that we had interesting problems to solve and they were in little nuggets and little chunks and there's kind of a almost a high you get when you solve the problem and unlike many other areas or many other fields you could study when you solve a programming problem you know you solved it there's that aha moment you figure it out you've got test cases and all of a sudden everything's working and you get this immediate feedback and it's just kind of a rush Start answering that by uh, showing you a quote that describes what computer science isn't. It's really about this notion of algorithmic problem solving, uh, and it deals with taking some sort of a task and coming up with a solution that you, you're very specific about. You can use computer skills to do almost anything, and so in that way, I think computer science is growing and is going to continue to grow. There are lots of jobs in for people who have good computer skills and uh, there are going to be more and more as the technology just spreads through the culture. Computer science is the study of, of algorithms for one thing, it's the study of languages, um, it's, the, it's the study of, of uh, mathematical logic. Uh, it, it really borrows from a lot of different areas. Uh, combining those areas in a unique way that is that is unique to computer science. Another aspect of computer science would be what we call the theory of computing. So there's uh, theoretical research, there's folks that, that study the mathematical limits of what can we do with a computer. I would say my favorite course so far has been theory of yeah. computer science. It really put me way outside of my comfort zone because there was just so much to deal with and internalize and it really changed the way that I thought about approaching problems and abstraction. Programming and the related skills we teach in computer science are tools. They're empty in themselves. They're tools that need some kind of subject matter to work on. And that's where Oberlin students are so good because their interests are so diverse and so wide-ranging. All right, so a computer can only solve these sorts of problems. What if I have a magical computer that can solve those sorts of problems? What problems now can't we solve? The Oberlin campus is very, very well, uh, you know, well developed technologically. We started to make the, the, the change to a, to a wired campus uh, almost 20 years ago now. We have good tools in areas where we use them. Uh, I have good equipment for doing computer animations for that course, good um, uh, GPS stuff for people in geology and the other sciences who go out and do a lot of field work, good computation tools for people in physics. Oberlin's been great with changing technology. We've had for the whole life of the computer science program, we've had first-rate equipment. Uh, I'm teaching the computer animation course this semester using Maya, which is the same software they use to produce Avatar, for example. The computer science department here has a real sense of community. There are two student labs. There's this, uh, this lab that we're in here now, which they call the quiet lab, where students often go to get work done. Uh, and then downstairs, there's another lab, which they usually refer to as the social lab where a lot of the students will be uh, working on problems together or working on programming assignments. And that's where uh, sometimes they'll do these sort of uh, game nights. They become a kind of a locus of, of student activity off hours. The professors are really, really good. And you get a lot of personal attention. You get to do a lot of research. And... Uh, we like to, to think that our students having been taught in a, in a very uh, highly conceptual environment uh, are, are able to grow in their, in their careers, that, they're, that they really have a strong foundation rather than having been trained in a particular technology, that they, that they have a strong foundation that allows them to, to be lifelong learners. 
Computer science is a great major for a place like Oberlin, where you have students who are interested in all kinds of things and who are also just basically smart. Of creativity in our student body, and, and I'm very often very proud of what they do. They, they, this, is a, this is difficult material, and, and they work hard, and, and, uh, uh, and they master it. will be able to defeat most of the robots fairly easily. Uh, the thing you have to remember is that a computer really is a pretty dumb instrument. It does exactly what you tell it to. And so a robot is gonna be doing just whatever someone's told them to, and all you have to do is be slightly more creative than the robot. I, th I don't think you have to worry. I think if it happens, it'll be a few years. But... My goal is to take some time off and go to Indonesia, and if the robot uprising happens in Indonesia, then I'll be damned. Uh, programming can be taught through programming programming of, of the actions of robots and real robots running around you know I mean, not just virtual robots but real robots yeah I'm not so much worried about the the robot uprising as I am worried about the uh, the great information disappearance the Terminator is that what you're worried yeah. about <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th I don't think you have to worry I think if it happens it'll be a few years <laughs> <laughs> they'll call me dad <laughs>